Hello and welcome everyone to my best settings guide for Escape from Tarkov patch 0.14. Let's get right into it. So starting off with our game settings, basically all of this is pretty self-explanatory. Um, stamina and stance, we want that on always shown. Same with health condition, just so that you always know what's going on with your character. Quick slots, if you don't have them memorized, you can put that on uh, always shown, but I have them on auto hide just because I know what my quick slots are and I don't need to have them... Uh, blocking screen. Next, health condition always shown, health color scheme polychrome. Again, you just want more information, highlight available, operations should be everything. Uh, double click item use should only be in raid, just so that you can double click on items outside of raid to inspect them. Vaulting over medium obstacles I have on hotkey. This is so that I don't randomly try to uh, vault over an object when I don't want to. The hotkey would be spacebar, I'll show you that later. So make sure you have automatic RAM cleaner and only use physical cores turned off. They do work, you can turn them on for a little bit and then turn them off, but you will take an FPS hit. So with your FOV, I have the set to 63, it's a nice middle. If you're zoomed too far out, uh, heads will appear smaller. If you're zoomed too far in, you'll have you know a smaller field of view. So uh, I like 63. For head bobbing, I have that turned all the way down. Down at the bottom, I have all these turned off. You can turn on malfunction notifications if you need to know how to clear your gun when it jams. So that should be everything for our game settings. Let's go on to our graphic settings. So in our graphic settings, make sure you have VSync turned off. I have my screen resolution set to what it should be. I have screen mode, borderless. I know a lot of people say full screen. Trust me, for Tarkov, you want on borderless. It is just better overall. Then uh, for texture quality, I have that on high so my game doesn't look like trash. If you're having issues, you could turn it down to like medium or low, but I like high. Uh, shadow quality, low. Object LED have it at 2.5 instead of 2. Uh, some of the rear sights, I think, aren't visible if it's on lower. And then visibility, you could set down to 400, but I have it on 1,000 just for them bigger maps like streets or woods or something like that. And then I have anti-aliasing on high, uh, resampling on one times off, everything else on off down to anisotropic filtering, which is per texture. Reflex low latency isn't good in Tarkov, have it off. Sharpness is personal preference, but I have that set to 0.7. Lobby FPS limit and game FPS limit, make sure you crank those all the way up, and everything at the bottom should be turned off. Um, except the streets of Tarkov lower texture resolution mode, maybe that helps, I've never needed to use it, but that may be helpful for some people. Finally, post effects, these are mine, you know, brightness at 100, saturation at 23, everything else at 0, I like Cognic with an intensity of 27. Again, this is completely personal preference, but I find that this tends to help me see uh, enemies pretty well. I never have a trouble spotting them out, really. So sound, again, personal preference really, but I have interface, chat, music, and hideout all turned down to 10 with my overall volume being at 100. Then I turned off music on raid end, and I do like binaural audio. That can sort of be a personal thing, so you can decide whether you like it or not. Okay, let's go into our controls finally. And there are only a couple things that I've changed in here. I switched my Q and E to the opposite, and I put them on press. So basically, it's easier to uh, lean with your opposite uh, finger because you'll generally be moving in the direction with the same finger. And I have it on press, so I don't have to uh, continuously hold it down. And then aim, I put on continuous so that it's more like other games. I don't want to just uh, click it once and be aimed in. And everything else is pretty much left as is until we get down a little bit. Let's see. Yeah, all the oh yeah i changed sprint to caps is just because i have a short pinky finger so it makes it easier on my hand um and then i put walk to shift basically i just uh, switched walk and uh, sprint and then that should be about it except for discard i have that on you instead of delete it's easier to reach and then make sure you remember to hold your breath if you need to and shoulder transitioning and vaulting these are the two things that they added i like i really like mouse 4 for shoulder tra transition and vaulting seems to work great on space with continuous and then finally uh, with the mouse sensitivity this again is personal preference but i would say that there is a way to figure it out if you don't know how put your mouse in the center of your mouse pad and go into a custom lobby and when you move your mouse to the side of your mouse pad you want to move about 220 degrees so just a little bit more than 180 and the reason is is you want to have a 360 degree angle where you can move your character and still aim and if you only have it set to where when you move your mouse to the edge of your mouse pad from the middle and it only rotates 180 de degrees if someone's right behind you you're not going to be able to aim at them because you're on the edge of your mouse pad so make it so that it really rotates about 220 from the center of your mouse pad and um you know, you can just change it from there. My mouse DPI is 800, and I've set them set to 0.34 and 0.33. Uh, they're not the same just because I couldn't get them exactly the same, but it's not a big deal. But yeah, this is a good starting point, uh, and it's what works for me. So do what works best for you. Anyways, I hope you all found this video helpful. 
Um, I found these settings to be really good. I've gained a lot of FPS and, uh, you know, I haven't had any issues seeing anyone, so I think they're good. This patch has been amazing. And yeah, anyways, if you found this helpful, feel free to let me know in the comments below or with the like button. And if you want more of my content, feel free to subscribe. I really appreciate it. Thanks for watching, everyone. Uh, good luck in your raids this week. I'll see you next time.